Hey guys, this video is about airbags uh, in a, uh, a car. All right, so um, let's say that you are sitting in your seat, okay, and driving your car. All right, and I'm going to give you a mass of uh, 100 kilograms. It's about what I'm pushing these days. Um, let's say the car is going uh, 20 meters a second. Okay, and let's say that you come to a stop very quickly. Let's say, unfortunately, you're in this car seat and then you, uh, you know, you smack into a tree. Okay, I, uh, I want to be sensitive to any issues that people have been in car accidents. They realize the force here um, of, uh, that they feel if they hit a tree. Um, so in your car... Okay, um, we know that there is some sort of momentum um, because I can figure out that momentum initially is mass times velocity. Okay, so the momentum initially for me going along at 20 meters per second is going to be 2,000 kilogram meters per second. Okay, that's my initial momentum. Um, now, if I smack into a, a tree, um, my final momentum, PF, is uh, zero. There's no velocity. Um, okay, now how this is going to make sense is the fact that they, um, you know, recently, you know, and I talk recently because I'm an old man, but recently they par started putting airbags in cars. <laughs> And uh, they started making cars uh, able to crumple up. Uh, the reason why they crumple up is to uh, increase the time of impact. Okay, so let's let's look at it. Let's say this guy's going along in the in uh, in the old days, and he drives along in his car. And let's say they get into an accident with the tree. Okay, and let's say the time of impact is 0 0.01 seconds. Let's say this person takes 0 0.01 seconds to slow down to nothing. Okay. It's a pretty quick slowdown, pretty quick deceleration. Let's find out the change in momentum and the impulse. Okay, Remember, these two are the same thing. So change in momentum is... Uh, uh, PF minus uh, P naught is going to be negative uh, 2,000, okay, which is, this is going to be negative 2,000. Now, this was our final momentum, which is zero, because it's thing stopped. Our initial momentum, well, we found that out up here. Um, and I also know that impulse is uh, force times time. So we're going to put this into real life perspective for you, okay? The force, which we know is measured in newtons or apples, uh, the force felt on this person going 20 meters per second, slowing down at this rate, um, is going to be tremendous. Okay, so let's look at it. Um, force felt is equivalent to impulse over time. Impulse is negative 2,000 <laughs> kilogram meters per second. And then the time is uh, 0 0.01 seconds to slow down. So let's figure out the force on this person. Holy mackerel. Wow. 200,000 newtons. Whew. Now, let's look at that in terms of pounds. I'm just curious. I'm going to divide that by 4.45 pounds just to get give you an idea how many pounds of force that poor person feels. Oh, my goodness. 44,944 pounds of force. That poor person especially if they didn't have a seatbelt on, 
is going to feel this many pounds of force going from 20 meters per second to zero meters per second in a time of one hundredth of a second. Wow. This equals broken bones or even worse. Okay. Let's see the importance of these airbags uh, because the airbags only, and I'll say it again, the only reason for the airbag is to deploy and increase the time to slow down the body. Okay, slow down the body. Now, before we had a time of 0 0.01 seconds, let's say that we could decrease that time down to f half a second. So instead of the 0 0.01 seconds of slowdown, we now have half a second. So we've increased the time. So because uh, impulse is force times time, and force is uh, impulse over time, okay, it's 2,000 point five, four thousand newtons. Now that's a huge difference. Let's let's figure out what that is in pounds. Okay. Okay, so look what we've done. We have decreased the amount of force felt on this poor guy by quite a bit. Now he's feeling 900 100 pounds of force on his body. Now this is if he doesn't have a seatbelt on, he just smacks into the airbag. Um we uh, we can see the, the dramatic difference. Now, 899 pounds sounds like a lot, but the human body can take quite a bit of a, a force. Um, but it couldn't take that, you know, 45,000 pounds that we had originally. Um, so we, we increase this time. We can drastically decrease the amount of uh, force felt on the person in a car accident. I think that's smart. I mean, I think that's incredible. Um, furthermore, uh, here's your car driving along, okay, hits a tree, okay, or some other object. The car is actually made to crunch or crumble, okay, the car is made to crumble, which increases time again. So now we can get that time to go up. We can get this force to go down. I, I mean, that's great. I mean, I'm thinking that that's a great thing. So, uh, yeah, that's the importance of airbags, right? Um, we're going to relate this to like one master problem I'm going to show you later. Um, but this, this is the, the basis of an airbag uh, for a car. Cool stuff.